was Vegas Balrog. Balrog. Balrog, yeah. Balrog. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know a lot about Street Fighter, but uh, I was not aware of this character, uh, American boxer Dick Jumpsy. Mm. He's a superstar both in the ring and in the movies. Uh, he seems to have entered the tournament to publicize his next film. Dick has heavy punching. Does he? And powerful blocking mm. uh, that are unique to boxing, although he uses absolutely no leg-based attacks. His special move is a holy rope storm. Mm. That's just one thing you'll learn while playing the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, uh, out now on Switch, PS4, Xbox, PC. We're going to be playing it now for you here on Facebook and Twitch.tv. If you have questions, we'll, we'll get to them. I'm Jordan Miner, SeniorGeek.com. I'm joined by... Jeff Wilson, Senior Editor of PC Mag. I'm Dick. I'm Will Greenwald. Take two. I, I'm a Dick, and I'm Will Greenwald. Are you Dick's brother, Brick Jumpsy? Dick Jones. <laughs> Dick Jumpsy is such a good name. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're just checking out this. Uh, these just sort of uh, historical, like these sort of making of documents in museum mode before mm. we even get to the games. Wasn't Great Tiger in like Super oh, Punch no. Out? Wait. Yeah. Yes. He was. What was that previous? One? We don't need to go back to that. Uh, <laughs> Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> Before that one, there was another Great Tiger. Oof. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. The, great Tiger is, is the name of the Punch-Out character. Yeah. Right, um, right. So that, this just became... Uh, Who stole what and from what culture? Yeah, yeah this just became Dalsim. Dalsim's not wearing a turban, usually. No. Right. He's not in two. No, and they mentioned uh, in the design docs here that they may have removed the turban just for memory's sake. It oh, be a game I memory. see. Yeah. Yeah. Does that also explain his necklace of skulls? <laughs> he, he's known for destroying men. Yeah. But yeah, this is some really cool uh, just behind the scenes uh, Street Fighter 2 yeah. art. Is this <laughs> just like, again? <laughs> is that Billy Lee? Little Billy Lee, little, little uh, Kenshiro? Yeah, I was yeah. going to say that was a Fist of the North Star. Um, Bill Riser from Contra. Yeah, a yes. Bit. Yeah. Um, cop. Someone's a cop. <laughs> Zubaz, hey. The Baz yep. from Dive Kick. Right, and that's, shovel that's what he is. Yeah, yes. that's what that whole joke is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's such a weird roundabout joke because before this was put on here, the super best friend cadre of El Piers had this series called Fighterpedia, and one of the first videos they did was talking about early design docs. Yeah. This is Zubaz, and it became an OC that became a character in other fighting games. Yeah, it became his whole thing. Interesting. So yeah, so this collection has. We'll, we'll get into the game. Jungle. Too. What the fighter Jungle King? Fighting Jungle King. Yeah. Sticks and uh, wrapped uh, calves. It, it, that's Ninja. kind of like Oro on vacation. And well, that's just Kage slash Cage. Yeah, so we have to go through all these here. But yeah, um, there's these cool making of documents. Um, and so while, you, while you're playing these games, you also learn a bit of the history about them, which is kind of just a cool thing to do with yep. these, these retro compilations. Spe of speaking of retro, be honest. Mm -hmm. and when you played Virtual Fighter in the 90s, you called him Cage, right? I did. I, I wasn't playing Virtual Fighter in the 90s. You weren't born then. I played, I played, uh, I played, uh, I called him Cage. I yeah. called uh, the NES game Legend of Cage. Yeah. Because cause before, be before we could. Oh, you're talking about the word Kage. Yes. Right. Okay. Right. Because before we had any contact with, you know, Japan directly that weren't VHS based, like we just pronounced stuff wrong. Like <laughs> Ryu. Ryu. Are you saying that Bart's teacher's name is Krabappel? I've been calling her Crandall. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's, Steam um, Hems, but it's a compilation of fighting games. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's play some games here. Let's play some games. So what's your favorite game here? Mine's EX. <laughs> okay, so the games here are... Took three minutes. Original ass Street Fighter 1, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Street Fighter 2 The New Challengers, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, <laughs> Uh, Street Fighter Alpha 1, 2, and 3, and then Street Fighter 3, 1, 3, 2, and 3, 3. I love that nearly literally half of the games are just Street Fighter 2. <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. It's a huge deal. But, but the thing is, once you play these games back to back, you get to see the evolution of the series. Oh yeah, it's mm -hmm. fascinating. Um, like, like I, I remember lived, I was living through this time period and playing these games in high school, and by the time like, uh, like the new challenges came out, I was already sick with the series. Mm -hmm. But looking back now, I do kind of appreciate like all the jumps that they made in terms of gameplay. Street Fighter is just influence on just game, fighting game culture, uh, but just games culture at this yeah. period of time. It's just it can't be, I think, overstated. So, what's uh, your favorite logo of these games? I love Alpha Two. Like, there's just something about that design. It looks kind of like it looks almost like a Neo Geo like system logo. Yeah, it's a little of that '90s extremism in there. Yeah. 
Like what Al- kind of extremism? Al- just mm. 90s uh, okay. poochyism. Okay. <laughs> I, like these, I like these big dumb apostrophes in these mid... These oh, the mid, dash? Yeah, these yeah. mid-period Street Fighter 2 logos. Because like, this one is not the original. It's like the update. It's 1.1. It should be just an asterisk. Mm. Uh, also, the big block super behind them is pretty good. That's always strong. That's pretty, pretty yeah. strong. The Alpha 3 logo is so, like, I feel it should be Marvel 2. Yeah, it is a little marvelous. Like it's so font yeah. that. Yeah. The font of New Generation in the Street Fighter 3 logo was really good. I just realized the Third Strike logo looks like the championship belt. See, you learn something new every yeah. day when you play the Street Fighter 3 anniversary collection. Well, I like that you can see sort of the confidence Capcom gets in the franchise over like the life of this. Because it starts Street Fighter. Big logo, big logo. Then by the time you hit Alpha 3 and Third Strike, it's like, you know what this is. It's Alpha 3 and Third Strike. You already know you're playing a Street Fighter game. Right. Mm-hmm. All right, but we should actually play a game here. Uh, what, who wants to play what? Who wants to, who, dealer's choice? I, let's, let's take a little vote. I, I think we should start from the beginning with the first Street Fighter. I think we should play a playable game first. I think, I think Street Fighter because playable games aren't as fun. All right, well, then you take it. <laughs> I mean, I'm voted. So Street Fighter 1's a bad game. Yeah. It's not... It came out August 1987 on custom Jam Up hardware. Um, like saying jam, I had... Okay, that's the right button. Did I? Okay, uh, I hit the hey, wrong button. Yeah. Is it local play or... Oh, uh, you're going to um, go versus. It's, okay. It's offline versus. Yes. It's not my cop. I haven't actually touched it yet. Yeah, so this is before they even figured out what a fighting game really was. Yeah, so which country? <laughs> my two special boys. Wow, just rolling start, are we? Yeah. All right, let's do this. I have to walk oh. up. That's kind of oh, impressive. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I got... <laughs> but it's, it's, I got some Virtual Fighter 1 jumps. It's impressive that you pulled off any kind of special move because the timing on combos are so much tighter oh, in this yeah. game. Like, Street Fighter 2... It's Would you com- say this is the Dark Souls of fighting games? No, it's like it's an accident. Because like Street <laughs> Fighter 2, the, they accidentally left the combo window like open yeah. longer. So like they didn't think... They like accidentally invented combos that way. I love the jump. Yeah. It's, it's so weirdly slow. It's like he's levitating, then remembers he needs to move his knees. So this is Dick Jumpsy. Is it? And <laughs> that, yeah. oh, that's right. And the time is oh, yeah. super <laughs> rapid in this game. <laughs> wow. I didn't even realize there was a timer. And the thing about this Street Fighter 1 is that no matter uh, when you press the jump attack button, it always attacks from the same height. Yep. There's no variation in it. It's, okay, why am I jumping super fast now, but before... I, okay, there's the... The timing for the jumps is so bizarre. It is kind of like this interesting, like this and shit, like Urban Champion, or these yeah. weird kind of like, um, like. Uh, I'm mean, trying like to throw... in the fossil record of fighting games, like how we got to from like beat 'em ups to like this. Yeah, this... can we just point out that Ken is barefoot and Ryu appears to be wearing sandals or possibly pumps? Uh, That's the, very true. The red bottoms, they're bloody shoes. Yeah, he's Maybe. trampled on his enemies. That's, sure. that's what it is. Also, since when is Ryu a ginger? Maybe that's what he originally is, and he dyes it in the Man. other games. Yeah, he dyes his beard, too. Imagine Ryu, if he had that, he, that, be, that beard was red, too. Oh, sexy Ryu? Yeah. Uh, I've been trying to do a special move for the past, uh, since we began. Yeah. And, it's and been, nothing is really working. I can, do the, I can do the kick sometimes, but yeah, this is Yeah, the window is way tighter. Also, it's just a dumb input. Um, <clears throat> what I do appreciate about Street Fighter 1, besides just introducing you know, Ken and Ryu and Saget, and Adon. And mm-hmm. possibly uh, Mike Bison also. Uh, Birdie's in this one. That's right. Too. Yeah. I love Adon. He's the Waluigi of fighting games. Mm-hmm. What I like about it is that when you, when you actually land a special move, it has impact because a fireball can drain like 40% of your life. Right, because there's no damage scaling. Right. Yeah. Ken won the fight over Ryu. It's that- <laughs> That's cool. such the most grammatically accurate yet like weirdly on the nose victory message of any like Japanese fighting game. So you got it out of your system? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could definitely move on now. Okay. Let's play. Um, I mean, let's keep going in order. Why not? Yeah, stick, sure. uh, stick one too. Yeah. Which is this would be the most important game in uh, this collection. But mm-hmm. I think playing original Street Fighter Two, like compared to what people maybe think it is, yeah. would be enlightening. Like, you like, couldn't even play the bosses. Like yeah. The four kings. <laughs> yeah. It's shocking. <laughs> That's right. It's shocking to see just how thin the roster is. Yeah. Can you think of the Street Fighter, these massive uh, yeah. collection of fighters? Yeah, so you got, you got eight. You got eight uh, like this roster is smaller than five was at launch. Jesus. <laughs> 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 uh, let's ask a little. Wow, this, uh, the uh, uh, glare on the screen is preventing me from seeing Guile, but. Uh, let's uh, mess around with, the, with uh, the excuses now, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> 
maybe smaller. I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. So like a lot of a lot of like a lot of retro compilations. There's different display modes and mm. aspect ratios and border art and whatnot. I'm not a fan. I love the crisp pixels, but like it's nice to have the option, especially if like it stretches it. And this just doesn't really render the. It doesn't do like these SNES classic style upscaled pixels, super crisp. But it kind of works for arcade games. It does evoke that CRT thing going on. Question. What are your thoughts on the Street Fighter movie? Ooh, it's, uh, right? well, I mean, rest in peace, Viacon Dios, Raul, Raul, Raul Julia, first of all. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Jim. <laughs> um, that movie's a lot of fun. It's that was a the great first film. Movie. I watched that movie when I got my, uh, got my new laptop like eight years ago. Um, that movie's really fun. It's up there with, like, Mortal Kombat in terms of, only, like, one of the only, like, remotely watched. Because fighting games just lend themselves to movies anyway, because there's this whole tradition of dumb tournament movies. That's true. Yeah, older um, than fighting games themselves, like yeah. Bloodsport or Kamite. Well, yeah. I, would, I would say Bloodsport is the far superior Street Fighter movie. It's basically, well, yeah. it has like basically almost all the characters. I'm, hey, it's not hard to be a better Street Fighter movie it's than fair Street enough. Fighter the movie, but um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of like Kali Minogue's in that movie, and uh, who, who's the woman who plays Chun Li? She's a uh, um, oh, uh, it's Ming Na. Yeah, yeah. It's Ming Na. Yeah, Agent May from it, Marvel's Agents yeah. of Shield. Yeah. She's uh, probably the most high-profile person that's still... Uh, still who's still with us? Still a, he's still, a, he's still oh, with what us. About, <laughs> what about Jean-Claude Van Damme, who plays your character? <laughs> <laughs> I say he has that Amazon series now where he's making a parody of himself. Yeah. Which, wasn't that what he's been doing? <laughs> <laughs> that's... Uh, that's yeah. pretty good. That's very strong. I, I, fe I feel the early fighting game hype happening here. No, what's interesting, though, is that... Um, like you said before about the damage scaling, mm -hmm. like you get hit with like one fierce punch uh, and one fireball, you're insta dizzy. Oh, no. We're doing winner stays on, so you. Won't. Oh, okay. oh, oh, well. No, so what I would lose and will. Okay. Oh, we're doing yeah. the, we're doing the arcade stuff. Yeah, sure, why yeah, not? Yeah. Question: believe, How many of these games would you actually want to play? Like, so, uh, so, um, so we can play all twelve of these in this offline mode, but for online, it's limited to Street Fighter Turbo. We should go back and check that. Actually, can we go back? Um, it's uh, Street Fighter. It's hyper fighting. It's hyper fighting. Champion. Turbo. Turbo. It's Turbo. Turbo. Alpha Turbo. Three and Third Strike. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so there's limit to those four. So I think those those are what they imagine. I think would be the most popular. No, Except those are the ones that are still uh, viable in the tournament scene. Okay. Because mm. they're the they are the um, the last iter well they're like the last iteration of their like different branches. Except for two. That's two versions of two. But yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty. That's, that's true too. Yeah. Um, Let's and unlock the, the bosses and uh, start with hyper fighting. All right. Uh, but yeah, those four are the ones that they are trying to funnel people into. Just also just so that there's a big enough community, you know? Like yeah. Trying to split. A, no one should be playing Street Fighter 1 online. Man, but I really or want at to. All. <laughs> I really want to. So that to. shouldn't be happening. And also, just, you, can't, you can't split the player base across 12 different, different games that are like, many of which are just like variations on one another. I'll play M. Bison. <laughs> nice. Boxer versus Claw. What's the better fake? <laughs> what's the better fake Mike Tyson, M Bison or Mr. Sandman in that Punch Out Wii remake? Ooh, because that was really good of trying to get as close as they could. Mr. Sandman yeah. is strong in that game. Yeah, I, I, yeah, this is a character. strong, but it's also like <laughs> he winks directly you. replacing him. Whereas this is just he was never Mike Tyson. Balrog was just you know M Bison, but mm -hmm. he wasn't actually the dude. Yeah, but the shamelessness of Mr. Sandman is <laughs> yeah. real good. There is, but th but there was never Mike Tyson Street Fighter. But that would have been amazing. <laughs> Mike Tyson Street Fighter, <laughs> and then it would have been like a Vander Holyfield's Mortal Kombat. Is that would have been what would have done? That's more of a Mike Tyson thing, I think. What was that Genesis boxing game? Uh, real Deal Boxing. But with who? It was uh, Evander. Okay. That was, even Buster Douglas had a Buster game. Buster Douglas, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, so yeah. If, you, if you had a belt at least one time during the 90s, you, you got a game from Sega. Man, Buster Douglas, what a name. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a pose. This is, <laughs> <end on. laughs> this is some high-level gameplay right here. Yeah. <laughs> and which version? Is this a uh, champion or, or, uh, or uh, hyper fighting? I think it was hyper. Hyper fighting? Okay. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah. Street Fighter 2, though, completely holds Bite up. Bite off his ear. Bite off his ear. Also, like we're playing on Switch, um, if you waited on buying Street Fighter Two Ultra or whatever oh. on Switch, like buy this instead. Yeah. Um, you know that that game had the HD art and that uh, that first person fireball mode and the color stuff, which is pretty fun. But this uh, invalidates that entirely. Well, actually, this was, so does it have those features like the color customization? No, it's just the original ROMs. 
Um, but I don't think I think getting all those other games is worth right. it. But you're saying, Jeff? Uh, I don't remember. It was about Ultra Street Fighter 2 on Twitch? Uh, yes. Uh, this was announced how soon after Ultra came out? Uh, a while ago. A while ago? Yeah, because I think because that game did really well on Switch, okay. so I assume that played a role in putting it. Oh, okay. Um, so it wasn't like... Do you think the Golden Nugget has ever, like, objected to being in this background? Because that's an actual casino, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. They put And they put out, like, casino games and stuff. I don't think it's the Nin Nin Hall there, but I haven't been to Vegas in a few months, so... Uh, question. Someone requests that you play as Blanca next. Okay, we'll play as Blanca in the next game. Is it Yoshinori Ono? Is he watching? It's, <laughs> it's Ono. Uh, the, well, the, the, the current steward of Street Fighter, his favorite dude is Blanca. I don't like Blanca. I don't like how he plays. Uh, he has great uh, stage music, though. Yeah. Mm. Nice little uh, rhythm, some dusty drums. He's got a good nice. color palette. So let's yeah. just uh, skip right ahead to Turbo, then. And also playing two and to turbo, like it really made me appreciate. Oh wow, it is way faster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, turbo, I believe they added air combos, and of course the four new characters. Do you want to take Blanca? Oh, and someone requested Chun Li too. Okay, so I'll be that. You want Chun? I'll be Chun Li. All right. I'm wow, not, who I'm also not really a fan of. White guy Blanca looks so weird. Look at that grimace. Some some of the palette swaps going on in these games are. Bizarre and yeah. kind of fascinating. Like Chun Li's a ghost. Oh god, there's just two. There's just two fighters with a damn like, like tappy attacks. <laughs> just just keep mashing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> her fireball is a charge, and I hate charge. They should have never get her a fireball. That's yeah. my hot take about Chun Li. Oh, is that all? They should never. She was. She's. Pretty OP as it is. Wait, when did she not have a fireball? Did she just never have one? Like, yeah, she didn't have it in two or I think champion edition. Oh, was she, so was she like like just more just get in there? Wasn't super when they gave like E Honda the ability to walk forward while slapping. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I think so. We're talking about things being OP. Yeah. Well, was it like when people were saying that Chun Li could like, throw her bracelets? Throw her bracelets. That, that's another Those bracelets kind of... could kill a man. Oh, the, the, the Street Fighter rumors. Yeah, the Rainbow Edition stuff. Yeah, there was some wild stuff back in those uh, in, uh, during the '90s, where after Street Fighter Two came out, and you know players had complaints about the game being a little slow, and so bootleggers just came in. It's like, "Lo, we got you!" Yeah, and had create this whole like gray market of um, bootleg Street Fighter machines with where you could throw fireballs in the air and block in the air. That's kind of how like Ms. Pac-Man was made. Yeah, totally. yeah, yeah. And then also like now Turbo in term out Turbo came out as like a response to all that stuff. Right. Yeah. Did Chun Li steal her bracelets from Bowser? <laughs> I don't know if Bowser had had spike bracelets at this time, mm. um, but yeah, like so we're we're talking about just the fighting game, just weird lies and rumors of like before the internet or like early internet are so cool. Yeah, like all the fighting game mysteries are so cool. Like Go can only exists because of like an EGM April Fool's joke. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. Thank you, Ziff Davis. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, no, no comment there. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like, I mean, obviously Mortal Kombat was all up in that too, but yeah, like I love all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, my favorite was the, the rumored uh, Guile pistol move, where, <laughs> where, where Guile would pull out uh, a gun and blast his opponent. And then in MK2 like, or 3, they introduced Striker. Oh, Striker, that's right. And showed how, how crappy that type of character would be. <laughs> Curtis Striker. <laughs> Charlie Blanca. Ah, Jeff's really cleaning up as if you're someone who cares about the fighting game community. I, I do. does great coverage of it on PCMag.com. I do care about the FGC. And like, you're playing on the you're playing with the the Joy-Con. The Joy-Con is not the, that's not the best controller, but it gets the job done. Yeah, it's how we're it's even with this handicap, you're still cleaning so up. So I can't imagine playing like on a single like Joy-Con. Yeah, right? I mean, like, it has all the buttons, but yeah. Yeah. So a year and a half later, let's jump to Alpha. Question. Question. How much is this again? $40. $40, 12 games, mm -hmm. and lots of historical documents. Oh, this is Alpha 1. Yep. Yeah. So Alpha 1 uh, set between the event. Let's talk about Street Fighter lore here for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, alpha, well, alpha, the Alpha series is set in between 1 and 2. So that's why you have some one character coming back, like Adon. And, uh, it's a got, but this is after he got his scar. Yeah. It's, it's somehow much more diesel. <laughs> um, it's kind of more cartoon. It's a little bit more... Let's say cartoonier art style a bit. You can say the word anime. Okay, a bit more anime art style. Um, and then we were saying these are coming out concurrently with the different three revisions. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, Alpha came out first, and I think three came out 
It'd be about two years later. Yeah. Well, on the game select screen, the years are on there, so we can actually figure that out. You're right. Yeah. Ooh, it's hard to drag a punch on this controller. Uh, yeah. But, um... Supers yeah, are so, so cool. Yeah, so Street Fighter never really stopped. Um, was that Tiger Genocide you were just with? <sighs> yeah, I, I did whip like <laughs> Tiger Genocide, yes. Good. When this, when this came out, uh, my local arcade... Um, what is that pose? It's uh, Muay Thai. Okay. He, he, my, my local arcade uh, owner, he, he rebranded the, the system. He took the, the word Street Fighter Alpha off of it and put Street Fighter 3. <laughs> in order to uh, get a couple more bucks out of us. That's real good. Well, what, isn't it Street Fighter Zero in Japan? Yeah. Yeah. Which is a great name for a game that takes place after 1 and before 2. I mean... <laughs> I played, there was a Game Boy Color version of this that was like surprisingly pretty good. How do I do that super? I mean, most supers are just like double double fireball and whatever the move. I love how diagonal Adon is. Yeah. Also, you're right, he totally looks like Ooh, Waluigi. He's Waluigi! <laughs> yeah. He also looks kind of like a weird bird man. And it's funny because there's a character named yeah. Birdie in this game, and it's not him. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Birdie's less of a bird man. Yeah. All right, let's move on to Alpha Two, or move on to Three. So well, Two, Two, and Three in the Alpha series, I think, are more different. Yeah, a big jump between yeah. Alpha two, One and Two. These, yeah. No, I mean like jump back and forth, but sure. So this came out in '96. Mm -hmm. Three came out in '97. Alpha Three came out in '98. Got it. Cool. It's interesting that the stage select is all in this sort of same like UI shell. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. That's not like launching. It's not like launching. How does Birdie get that hair? He's British. That doesn't... Okay. I'll be... Is Cody in this one? You mean Codell Traverson? No, oh, I should be guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, talking, no, I'm talking about the mayor of Metro City. Mm -hmm. I'm not in Super into Guy, though. Well, what do you think about... You uh, mean Kenny Omega? <laughs> what do you think about uh, Metro City's politics in regards to, uh, you know, politicians... Uh, Beating up on her citizens. Yeah, to, to get the job done, to rescue their, to rescue his daughter, to put on his bandolier belt. I love Mike Hagar so much. The fact that he's not in a, like a Street Fighter game yet is a crime. Yeah. Um, it's so good. The Final Fight Street Fighter universe. The Final Fight Street Fighter and now Rival Schools universe. Uh, it's so yeah. good. It's so good. Yeah, they need to do something with rival schools. It's been dormant for like, since, 15, since, 20 years. Since Tesla and Cooper's Capcom. They should also uh, bring yeah. it back to Night Stalkers, too. They should. So my... Um, Dark Stalkers. Dark Stalkers. <laughs> Slash Night Warriors. My pitch for Dark Stalkers is that should be their like Mortal Kombat competitor. It should be M-rated and really gory. Mm, that'd and be just great. really like, schlocky. That'd be a way to differentiate it. Um, That's true. You I know. agree, but it should still keep the Morgan spray from Capcom 2. Right, but, they, but, they, but then they could also just let that character like be sexual instead yeah. of just dancing around it like they've been doing. <sighs> Geef, you're a beast. In the Alpha series, they added more, more defensive options than in the other Street Fighters that came before it. Mm -hmm. I believe you could do air blocking in this one, depending mm -hmm. on your ism. Or maybe that's three. Um, What's your favorite ism? Uh, I like exism. Social is a good one. Mm. Existential. Ooh. Oh, Nile. I'm also very much into. Mm. Nile's a solid ism. Yeah. Not to be not with Niles. <laughs> That's just when you love Niles from Frasier. <laughs> okay, should it be Oro or famous Todd McFarlane character Necro? I love Dudley so much too. <laughs> I love the Street Fighter Three cast. They got a lot of shit back in the day. They did, and I was one of them. But it's great. If I had internet connection back in the days, I would have been a total troll because I hated all these characters. Yeah. Um, but I, I've grown to love them, though. I think people have come around. They're the Street Fighter. They're the Speed Racer, the movie of fighting game cast. Yeah, it yeah. is. I love Dudley so much. Dudley's so good. Is he supposed to be black or like Indian hmm. British? I thought he's British. I thought he was like, like an Indian British guy. Here's a guy, better question maybe. What the hell is Oro? Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Blanca's great grandpa. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's great. Now, now, Street Fighter Three still feels really good. It feels good. Yeah. These animations are so good. It's although, such a good. It's such a. It's a next generation Street Fighter game. Although I love the weird mirrored sprite cheapness of like, 
Okay, his, uh, he only is using his right arm when he's on this side of the screen. <laughs> right. The cross-up, he's only using his left arm <laughs> because they didn't want to redraw it. I just appreciate any 2D games that are clearly, like, can't be 16-bit. Like, 32-bit yeah. right. pixel stuff, to me, is such a cool aesthetic. Whoa. Or whatever bit, I don't know. But, like, any, like post-SNES Genesis era, right. but pixelated 2D stuff is really cool to me. Like, stuff from, like, that uh, Saturn PS1 era yeah. kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh. Punch in the dick. Ooh. Ooh. Dick Jumpsy. <laughs> That's a good name for a move. Yeah. So Street Fighter 3, still the, the latest game in the chronology. Yep. Street Fighter 5, the events of Street Fighter 5 lead up to the events of Street Fighter 3. Oh. Question. <clears throat> Who's that guy? I'm looking at the sidebar here, that like white and red one. He looks like Kilroy, but That's with Necro. like Kratos makeup on. That's Necro. He looks a bit like Quan Chi, also. Yeah, yeah, he is a little, little, little Kratos-like. Not angry enough, though. Well, what about new Kratos? He's not angry so much, right? Yeah, he's well, he's a, he's angry, but yeah. like he has it under control. Yeah. Now that he left Greece, he's angry like a character and not whatever the hell he was in the Greece games. Yeah. Well, you know, this is Greece. I, I that deli is so proper. Like when you uh, beat someone, it goes to yeah. the windscreen. It's like, it's like he's actually like sipping tea yeah. over his fallen opponent. Like what's his, what's his story <laughs> idea? Because I feel like he's, he's someone's butler. <laughs> that, that sounds somewhat right. Yeah. I don't know anything about him as a character, but I just look at him as like, he, that is some dude's butler. Because he has endings. <laughs> there are like endings about that on yeah. Street Fighter 4 where he's in it. Like, who, like who, Street Fighter 4. Who's that like uh, the Ojo Sama uh, character from SF like 4 or 5? Like the, the twin drill hair, like rich girl. Oh, oh um, Karen! Yeah. yeah, Tim's man. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I don't Tim's know anything hands. about either of them, but I feel like Dudley is Karen's butler. That could work, because she's very uh, kind of aristocratic. Yeah, very hold a fan in front of your mouth go, hoo, 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 hoo. Let's That's do uh, Alpha 3. Let's Thank do you. Uh, Alpha 3. <clears throat> also, I really want to see them bring back Q. Who's Q's great. The, Q's the guy in the trench coat? Yeah. He's like, robot detective thing? Right. Where is Cody? Oh, there he is. Excuse me, sir. That's a mayor, Cody. Not in this one. He's still a crook. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be bad cop. <laughs> I love all the all the Final Fight characters. Their music has turned the beat back. Yep. That same sample they keep using. <laughs> I, I love how Cody isn't just a prisoner. He is like a 1920s three stooges <laughs> prisoner. Yeah. His moves are like ruffian kick. Yes, <laughs> ruffian. <laughs> Also, Criminal Upper is one of the best moves. Criminal <laughs> Upper. Wait, he has some, uh, is he rocking some shell toe Adidas? Maybe. Are you saying that's not standard issue prison wear? Uh, uh, uh no comment. Also, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm saying, okay. <laughs> Can we go one stream without talking about prison? <laughs> I'm digging all of the, 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 the martial arts like poses in the background, all the katas. Yeah. They got it some kind of chi going on. It kind of reminds me of that, uh, the, the island from Enter the Dragon mm -hmm. where uh, they're all they're doing the katas in the background. Yeah. yeah. I love the implication that Cody is such a huge badass because he's wearing cuffs and it's still like, if he took them off, he could beat you easily. No, no, no. It's like if Oro fought with both arms. He voluntarily stays cuffed. Yeah. yeah. He's punished. Because it's yeah. boring otherwise to him. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying it's most likely he ran for mayor, ironically, and won? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I've conquered the criminal world, now I'm going to conquer the bigger criminal world. Hmm. Sounds like real world politics. Mm. 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 Metro City. It's just like uh, Anytown, USA. Anytown, USA. Yeah. It's just like Southtown. I love Cody. I love Street Fighter characters. Street Fighter has great characters. It does. Even those questionable ones from 3. I think, for, I think it's time for Second Impact, which you've now come around on as your preferred. You a giant <laughs> attack? I love the Second Impact. Yeah. So why do you like Second Impact better than uh, whatever the other one is? I think Third Strike. I think it's uh, two things. One, the presentation. I love the stages where the, um, like you, you find the Atlanta stage and it collapses and you fall down to the base of uh, the canyon. You fight there. Um, That's an amazing icon for I, Hugo. I've said this a lot. I've said I love to a lot of things so far, but I <laughs> love Urian and everything about him. <laughs> Look at him. <gasps> no, what? Oh. Look okay. at these boys. Urian is like the most JoJo ass like character in Street Fighter since Guile. And that's and also or uh, Jury. And, and M. Bison. Yeah. 
Basically half the cast of Street Fighter has been inspired by JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Because this is straight up a pillar man. Which is a reference I recognize neither of you will get, Look but at his hopefully diaper. some watchers got a nice chuckle. Wait, wait a minute. Look at the animation on this. Look at, yeah, it's just... Yurin looks kind of like Dude Elena. Yeah, he does, kind of. Yeah. So what's his deal? Is he, he like is one the of younger those brother of, He's the younger brother of Gil, who was the villain of this series. Look at that, look at that. Ooh. Oh yeah, come on, bring it on. And that's probably the biggest, the biggest uh, new gameplay mechanic in three. It's, it's, it's the parry. Yeah. That's how, that's what made the, uh, the Daigo uh, Evo moment so hype. Yep. When, uh, who parried who? I forget. It was uh, just, uh, Justin Wong and Daigo. Yeah, Daigo parried uh, Justin with his. Uh, yeah, I can't remember who it was. Like it was somebody was. It was he was parrying Chun Li's super as right. Ryu, I, I believe. And it was like perfect, like twenty eight hits being parried. Yeah. yeah, which yeah, yeah. And he had to be like perfect, otherwise he would take chip damage. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, so Yurian is the younger brother of Gil, who was the villain of this game. They're both part of like a secret society that wants to rule the world. And there's like butterflies or something. So Yurian's mad. <laughs> Wait, Yurian's said butterflies? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, Yurian's mad that he got passed over and to be Gil. I know they clones or something? Or that's something? Probably. Well, Bison has a lot of clones of himself. Well, he does, but isn't like. The dolls. Isn't something like a, a would have been clone of Bison but just became a bigger boss, dude? Uh, that's Seth in Street Fighter 4. Right, okay. They're not related? No, because again, Street Fighter 3 is after all this still. Okay, We're Seth, still not entirely sure how Street Fighter 3 relates to everything else yet. Seth's but. the one with the dumb glowing like bowling ball in his stomach, and yeah. Gil's the one who's like who's a half, stupid two-faced. Yeah, who's half blue, half red. Right. Yeah. Right, that's right, yeah. Yeah. And Gil's sprite is just Urian sprite, but with different colors and hair. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. I wasn't really big on four. Oh yeah, why not? I kind of fell in love with three pretty late, and then seeing four looked like this visual step backwards. I'm not a fan of Five's visuals. I wish they'd done something different with them. Let's play Third Strike. Third Strike? Yeah, yeah. We haven't, that's one we haven't done yet. Gotta get my cue on. All right. Let's go to the Subway Station, USA. <laughs> Subway USA is kind of great. 12, I forgot about 12. Boomerang Reed. Gun stun <laughs> headbutt. Look at this Rorschach ass character. Yeah. Oh, it really is. Yeah. I'm convinced they should have put a Watchmen character in Injustice. That would have been really good. It would have been good. Yeah. Makes Rorschach was basically just the spirit, like straight up. Uh, and the and question, also. Yeah, yeah. and the question. Pre, he was basically Ditko Man. Right. Because <laughs> they were all. Because <laughs> they were all like Charleston characters. <sighs> yeah. There's a little Mr. A in them, I guess. Yeah. I mean, more Mr. Than a is amazing. More than a little. <laughs> I, I love how, like, he doesn't fight like a robot, he fights like a weird dummy. Like, he's just flailing around like his shoulders are numb. Yeah. But yeah, just stuff that, that just shows off all these animations. Like, yeah. Oh, oof. <laughs> how do you stun a robot? And is he a robot? Uh, is that, that is the most, oof. like, Ditko guy in suit punching people animation. <laughs> That's amazing. This game's great. Yeah. No air blocking in this one. Mm. Or there. I've noticed how a lot of characters have like single big weird belt or suspenders thing like around their thigh. Like mm. Alex has it, mm. uh, Hugo has it, sorry. Yeah. That, that yeah. would have been a forfeit if this was competitive. That's very true, I would win the title. Uh, yeah, just, I mean, just to show off. Like, like, you wonder just how much these designs are just designed to show off the yeah. hardware. Yeah. Like all these like little flowing bits. Kind of hard to talk when I'm when I don't know how to play. But <laughs> yeah, I just do fireball motions and hit buttons. I, I I love that. Not it's not a Superman punch because it's from like standing. He's not jumping in, but it's like lunging forward and just punching. It's one of the hardest looking punches you can do. It's hype. This game's hype. Y'all excited for Evo this year? Sure. I'm always hyped for Evo. Um, I'm really looking forward to, because uh, right now, <clears throat> in terms of this like entrance, Dragon Ball Z Fighters mm. is still the number one title right now. Hot rumor is that it's coming out, they're going to announce it for Switch at E3. So that'd be that'll, great. That'll pump up the player base. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. And if Xenoverse 2 can run on it, I think Fighters can. Yeah. Xenoverse sold really well on it, so it's, it's part of the rumor. Yeah, the rumor, that, Fortnite, 
Um, Overcooked 2. Um, Monster Hunter we already know about. Uh, Killer Queen. Killer Queen? Yeah, that kind of hipster arcade game. Oh. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty good. Um, that Paladin's Overwatch clone. Hmm. Sam. Didn't Paladins come out a few months before Overwatch? Oh, probably. I feel uh, like it um, did, but it's, it's like such a not quite Battleborn thing, just because Paladins is still being played by people. Right. But it's like kind of that level of crushed. All right, so we've seen all the games. What are we going to do now? Wait, 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 let's go X and see some of the more uh, like the, like the behind-the-scenes behind stuff. All, all right. right. The museum. Yeah. Let's go to the museum. <clears throat> So Jeff, I mean Jeff, you've been playing a lot of this. Yes. Um, so yeah, you, you know where you're around. So uh, let's Wait. go to. Uh, Can we just put on Guile's theme. Oh, let's Does let's it see. play in the background? I think it does not. But let's oh, okay. uh, let's see. Uh, let's go to Street Fighter Two, Guile. That's Street Fighter One. Oh, whoopsie. So you have every sound effect here. You have the bonus stages, you have the individual music, the music when it's uh, speeding up towards the end of a round. Uh, so let's find... This is exactly how you should do any compilation game. It's like, mm -hmm. here are yeah, all the games, right. and also here's all the content from the games that you can pick apart like you were going through a book. Let's see if it'll go out. Nope, can't back out. Oh. The song that birthed OC Remix. <laughs> so you have uh, things yeah. like character mm -hmm. uh, bios where you can see... Uh, let's Bring say, up Necro. Let's see what his deal is. Let's see what Will's favorite character is up to. He's like, he's, like, he's like the Valdo of this game. Yeah, and I imagine so, you love Valdo. He was once a normal Russian man named Ilya before he was modified by the Secret Society. <laughs> That's, that is Gil. Okay, Yurian is the president of the Secret Society, and okay. Gil is the emperor. Okay. That's so stupid. <laughs> so you get to get uh, character bios, a bit about their fighting style. He was freed by a girl, and 12 is like the, the Necro Plus. Who's 12 again? The, the weird, like, I don't, uh, I don't remember. Well, it's kind of like a glowing sperm. You can see who 12 is. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's right. Here yeah. we go. Glacius. Or um, that Virtual Fighter thing. Yeah. Mokujin. His fighting, Mokujin. his fighting style is Murderous Instinct. That's mine, too. Which is, which is pretty incredible. So you get all these character bios. So look up Q. Let's see. Is Wait. he a robot? All right, that's a good question. Q. Oh, no, no great. <laughs> a mystery wrapped in a trench coat and iron mask. <laughs> He's like your one partner from Fallout 4. You're like robot detective friend. I so wrote this profile when I was 14. <laughs> Even the investigative powers of the CIA have uncovered little about his history or purpose. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> Seemingly defying time and space, but he can show up anytime, anywhere. There must be a purpose. <laughs> Gil's fights revolve around the strength of his huge body. <laughs> oh. Like, you might not be a robot. He might be, like, like a cord from the Near series of just, like, time-traveling, like, <laughs> dimension robot fixing the future. <gasps> That's great. Great. Anything else you want to see in, uh, in the bios? Is Dudley an actual bu uh, Oh, yeah, that's uh, a butler. question. Yeah, what's Dudley's ethnicity? That's what I want to know. <laughs> England. He likes tea and roses. He uh, dislikes uncivilized behavior. He's a classy gent. See? <laughs> Dudley's a gentleman, a boxer, and tea enthusiast. <laughs> he managed to claw his way back to prominence after poor business decisions. Unfortunately, he was unable to recover his father's beloved sports car. Uh, See, now though, I'm getting to saying that. Because the secret society stole it. <laughs> See, now I'm second guessing myself though, because he's got these like Jamaican pants. <laughs> so maybe. Because there's a little DJ ish. Yeah, yeah. And, you yeah know, maybe Britain's he's a colonial. Got, yeah, Britain's got colonies everywhere. There. There's plenty of brown people from colonies in Britain. That's true. <laughs> so. That's very true. Don't let the Brexiters know that. Yeah. They don't okay. believe it. Gosh. Famous 2023 initiative, Brexit. You see that? Wait, wait. <laughs> he also has his own butler, a demure mustachioed man named Ortho K. Gotch. What a name. Ortho K. Gotch. Ortho K. Gotch. Wasn't he the boss in Donkey Kong Country 3? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's office. That's, uh, I, that's really fun. I think that's really fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, we go to the making of, and we get to see, <laughs> let's say, for example, the pitch documents. Oh, we the original. Saw. Can we see this already? It is, this one's like six pages. This one off air. Oh, okay. So you get to see the design they, they, they had in mind with the, uh, the uh, force-sensitive uh, buttons yep. for punch and kick. I kind of wish it had like a full like annotated overlay of just the translated notes, because mm. I mm. still don't know Japanese. 
But like, it's still cool, like just captions telling you kind of what they're saying and just the general concept of it. Yeah. It's like, uh, remember at E3 where you're showing off Mario Maker and they have those like original like document? Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Uh, one thing I really appreciate here. Oh, a thick boy. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, Nice little sketches here mm -hmm. of uh, what would beat our, our fighters. Because wasn't Alex basically going to be the new Ryu slash Ken? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, here's a new protagonist. Okay, he's gone. I think canonically he was the champion that he officially won the Street Fighter Three tournament. I mean, that sounds right. It's like yeah. Liu Kang won Mortal Kombat. Like, yeah. it's always most, yeah. He there's, must win. There's yeah. an area where you can see Check history. the, uh, oh, this is a timeline. Okay, so I was hoping it was the fictional timeline so we could actually piece apart the <laughs> That would be great. That would be great. <laughs> or do you get to see here that there was an NES version of wow. the OG Street Fighter announced but never emerged, thankfully. Fighting Street, the CD-ROM version. Now that was on the Turbo Graphics. Mm -hmm. And the prototype for Final Fight was called Street Fighter 89. There you go. Yeah. There you got Final Fight. Oh, what about Street Fighter um, 2010? Is that what it's called? Where you're, yeah. Uh, where you're Street Fighter 2010 the Final Fight? Yeah. Where you're, oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. What, where your future scientist Ken fighting through the, the solar system? Yeah. <laughs> Do they have Street Fighter the movie The Game on this timeline? No, Ooh. but I have it on Saturn. So we can get a Saturn, we can play it next week. But it's got to be on the timeline, though, right? Oh. Maybe? Let's find Maybe. out. Maybe. <laughs> what year was it? I mean, when was the movie? 95? 95? Yeah, 95. The birth of the new challengers? Is that supposed to be a... Uh, <sighs> what's that supposed to be? That, that, Bert, maybe Bert maybe, -Hawk, maybe? Yeah. Portal T-Hawk? That's, that's a rough looking T-Hawk. Yeah. Well, you know, the time's been tough. Yep. The animated the movie. movie. Yeah. They acknowledge this one. With the formative <laughs> Chumley shower scene. Yeah. Hmm. Isn't it called... Don't pretend. Part? Isn't it called... <laughs> yeah, she's pretty... <laughs> why is it called... She it being called Street Fighter 2 V always confused me, yep. just from Roman, Roman numeral sake. Yeah, what does that V stand for? Victory or something like that? Or? Yeah. Oh, but there it is. Ah, uh, the, oh, the cartoon. cartoon. Oh, that, that was, yes. Which is on, is yes. released on DVD. Yes. Yes. It was the quite trashy. The amazing. <laughs> there was also a Night Stalkers cartoon. What? Or Dark Stalkers oh, yeah. cartoon. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Puzzle Fighter. Okay. And remember Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realm? Yeah, it was Luke Perry of Sub Zero. Yeah, wow, as his own Luke Perry, and yeah. it was also uh, Clancy Brown as Raiden. Yeah, but that it makes more sense. Like I know that's I about just, his tier. I know, I just love Clancy Brown. <laughs> I mean, I do too. But that you tell me that, I'm not surprised. You tell me Luke no, Perry no, plays he... goddamn Sub Zero. I'm gonna do a double take. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He he has range. Yeah, because they really there's a whole episode about his all his drama with Smoke being a robot. Mortal Kombat is somehow so stupid than so Street Fighter. Stupid. It's amazing. They're probably going to announce. So we're going to do our E3 predictions next week, but um, they're going to announce Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah. Maybe. So. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to find an uh, area where you can view the character sprites. Probably under characters. Let's see. Museum. Characters. No, these are all bios. Maybe it's under huh. history somewhere. I don't think so. That's just the timeline. That's timeline. Yeah, I would think it'd be under character. Maybe you've got to unlock. Oh, hit gallery. Go to wait. History. Hit A for gallery. Hit A for gallery. Oh, that's cool. That's no. for, for these individual things. That's cool, but you can also maybe go to characters, then hit A, see if gallery comes up, and you might get the sprites. Well, let's see. Uh, I should have probably seen this before we started streaming it, but whatever. Yeah. There's no Learn along with us. They're, they're Watch us get good. <laughs> they're growing up with the audience. Maybe it's in the making of. No. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because I'm playing the PC version, maybe and maybe it's not not in the Switch version. Oh, maybe, maybe it's like too. Well, that'd be weird. But it would be because also sprite data not that yeah, I was much say, space. Yeah. <laughs> like the data is literally on there. Yeah. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. Just hit triggers. Yeah, individual sprite. That's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, like look wow. at the frame. Yeah. That's just a good, like, almost like an educational resource. It really is. Like, when, yeah. I, when I saw the third strike Elena, and, and I've got a technique you use for cartoons when they, mm -hmm. they stretch out the limbs. Oh, yeah. squash exactly. and stretch. Squash yeah. and stretch. And, like, yeah. sme smears. Smears, yeah. yeah. Yeah, can we get a Street Fighter 3 character, maybe? Sure. Or is they have, they have, let's you do can Elena. filter it. That's great, too. Yeah. So let's bring up uh, Sean. Yeah, see some of his sprites. Yeah, these Street Fighter 3 sprites are nuts. Yeah. And there's so many yeah. more sprites because they could, they could do them. They had the budget and resolution. Just the way his back like arches when he goes up yep. into that is so good. But I also like, you can still see like, yeah, this is the same frame. 
Sure. It just slides a little bit. Yeah. Like, I have to go now. My planet needs me. <laughs> uh, it's funny to look back now and think. You got the tire wine and potion that don't run out. Looking back now, you can really see like they had a huge budget for this. This is a triple A game, like mm -hmm. in the before the late 90s. The concept was named, yeah. right? Right. I mean, Street Fighter Two was a huge deal. Like yeah. those arcades were huge. They made a ton of money. It like say so. This is, goes back to two about how the games industry doesn't acknowledge how fucking important black people are to it. Like, <laughs> like the arcade scene and that mm. had a real like big like urban presence. Yeah. Right. Like. Mm. Like that whole culture, and like that 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 made a lot of, that was making a lot of money at the time. Right. And so. there's still so few characters who like are black here. Yeah. Bes besides DJ, how many of and Elena? How many of these are actual like black and not just Ganguro or heavily tanned? Yeah, I mean, because they spin T Hawk is a Mexican now. Sean's like Brazilian because yeah. there's Lara's his sister. Yeah. Yep. Um, Saddam maybe? No, no, no. he's on location. <laughs> he's just a giant weed. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if this is canon or not, but if you notice over time that Birdie has gotten gotten darker. Yeah. Mm. I remember reading, and I think it was came from an art book that said that she, Birdie was was light skinned in the first Street Fighter. Oh, you're right. They did try to recon this. Sick. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Yes. I was like, did he have leprosy and he healed? He was it? Tobias Whale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know, the fighting game community has its issues because it's mostly men, but it's, <laughs> but. It does have a sort of diversity that I've always appreciated. Yeah, um, that's very true. Yeah. Also, look at this. Look at this me in the profile. Fighting style, self-taught martial arts, likes pursuing Japanism. You definitely have that Japanese item. You wow, it's me. <laughs> well, you definitely have the that mask. <laughs> Dude who fights with katana and jute, and he's from America. Yeah. <laughs> No, all this time I didn't realize he was American. Yeah, <laughs> which wow. means it was working. Because he, he, his like his like home turf is freaking Metro City. <laughs> oh yeah, Armika's in these ones. Oh, Karen was the one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah she was in Alpha Three. She didn't like debut in Four. Heiress to the Kanzuki Fortune, which is just the most anime profile you can come up with for any character <laughs> that has drill hair. <laughs> Likes <laughs> absolute drill hair. Like Wait, had, was like split, I know what you mean. Like, yeah. I, it took me a minute to realize. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. Likes absolute hit victory. Dislikes middle class ideals. Whoa. That is a drill. <laughs> Whoa. That's a drill tweet, right? That is a <laughs> drill profile. Middle class ideals. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Ooh, there's so much to unpack here. Sounds uh, pretty feckless to me. Yeah. Mm, indeed. <laughs> Question. See, yeah, I don't understand. Was it just because she's very rich yes. and very disconnected? Ah, yeah. I see. She's not a socialist. Uh, no. Oh, really are you not. saying she doesn't like middle class ideas because they're too bourgeois? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh. No, she's just. <laughs> that'd be a wildly that different direction. That'd be really for Karen. good. That'd be a radical take on that statement. Yeah. Radical take. What the hell's a midwife toad? That sounds like one of those weirdly specific Japanese things, like a very like a certain type of animal, like like what's a woodpecker? Yeah, but it's a midwife toad. There's there's some gold in here where they don't coward out by just having unknown, which is cool if you have one or two characters with it, but when half your roster is unknown, shut up. Yeah, let's see some Hugo sprites. Yeah, yeah. this is a big boy. Big boy. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I that. love it. <laughs> Whoa! Look He's dead. He's dancing. This is hypnotic. It's so great. This is great. This is the most like Max series of sprites. <laughs> like, mm. I, I, want, I want the American Beauty to soundtrack to play to this. Hey, that's Vice's own Austin Walker playing Wizard of <laughs> Cool. <laughs> I love this feature. It's like that episode of SpongeBob where like Patrick starts getting beat up by nothing. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I thought that said giant palm boner for a second. <laughs> this is the real game. This is worth forty dollars on its own. Look! Look at this running animation. You can definitely <laughs> see the art and the, and the creativity. This and is the art. Vision yeah. that went into three. You can was... look at this and see the art. And just see that, like, it just takes so much to put. It takes 
so much to make just a single fighting game character. Yeah. Like the art, the balance, like the moves and all that. Which is why it takes forever for uh, Lab Zero to do it for Skullgirls. Like, because yeah. they've had repeated uh, crowdfunding to add new characters to Skullgirls, and they explain, like, this is why it's taking so long and, that's and costs game, so much that's money. That's a game with loving animation. It is inc yeah. They are fantastic at animation. It's why I'm really excited for Indivisible. Yeah. And why I've also been okay with waiting for it. Yeah. Who's Remy? Yeah, I remember when uh, King of Fighters 13 came out. It was the last sprite-based one, mm -hmm. and it was... It was high res, and they mentioned it took about a year to do each character because mm. it's all the frames and making them high definition. Yeah, that game about Blade Strangers coming out. Mm. What they're doing is they they make they make three D characters and they're like rotoscoping it to make the sprites. That's cool. Ah. Yeah, Jeff, could you please put this King of Fighters ass character back in the new game? <laughs> He is very Yori like. Oh, speaking of King of Fighters, we, when we, we were talking about that King of Fighters movie, yep. when we learned that. Uh, Terry Bogard mm. was played by the direct one of the two directors of John Wick. That's right. And who's yes. now who's director of Deadpool 2. Yeah. So that's great. Remy likes his sister in leather jackets. He dislikes all fighters. <laughs> Fighting games are so good. Also, There's... why does he have Kratos' logo on his chest? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fighting games are so good. Light of virtue, hi. I guess he was the, the, the Guile stand-in, I guess, this little Sonic. Yeah, there, yeah. 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 He is a Guile stand-in. Okay, the, the, is this dude just Look at French? that. Oh, oh. Look at that. That's he just smear. Is he just French Beautiful Joe? <laughs> In a way, yeah. It's the cold blue kick. <laughs> you're, you're right. That should come back. Yeah, but it won't. Oh, all of his special moves are just three letters that probably mean absolutely nothing. Okay, no, he actually becomes an axe. That's weird. I forgot how messed up 12 is. What does draw mean? Mm. Oh. Uh, okay, no. He looks like the Macintosh weight wheel. <laughs> Spinning. <laughs> Drop. Oh, okay. NDL. Look at that. Needle, okay. You know what, he's really, uh, he's really Venom-ish. Right from Marvel, uh, yeah. Marvel Venom. Mm, yeah. Are you looking forward to the Venom movie? Uh, uh, it's gonna be hilarious. Absolutely it's, not. Uh, it's gonna I've be hilarious. See, I've never seen my girlfriend laugh so loud so quickly than seeing <laughs> when the thing goes around his face. I love that just instantly someone put googly eyes on it and it, it didn't make it look less stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weren't they like broken in the Street Fighter 4 at some point? Uh, they were like, really, really good. Like, what do you guys think really about Yun and Yang? Because like yeah. they were just pretty much palette swaps in like original three, but then they were like, okay, let's just make it like the two dudes from Gundam Wing so they have some visual distinction. I remember that, I think that they were like really OP. Yeah. Look, this is Fire duo and Tro. Yeah. yeah, maybe a vanilla four maybe? Maybe, or I mean, they weren't in vanilla four. They weren't? Yeah, they well, I think whatever version they debuted in though. Okay. Maybe it was arcade edition, the first one? Mm, I guess it was final one maybe, Ultra? What do you guys think about uh, sibling characters in fighting games? I think they're usually, well, fundamentally redundant. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm just more now into just giving characters a bunch of crazy outfits. Yeah. Mm. Um, Oro likes turtles, and he's 140 years old. And he lives in a cave with his animal friends. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd rather them just give characters other outfits to make them look different than making them whole separate character slots. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, Oro deliberately limits himself, fighting with his dominant arm tied behind his back. What he really wants is a challenge, and he knows no one would offer one if he were fighting in <laughs> full power. That is such a flex. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty good. He considers Ryu to be a promising potential student, and upon meeting Akuma, acted as, as if they knew each other, but his memory sucks, so maybe they didn't. That's pretty, that's pretty damn good. This is a myth. Uh, that's a smear. <laughs> that's, whoa. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. Question. Does someone wants to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, is he human or and just super old? He's super just... old and Japanese and wise, which means he's basically a god in a video game. <laughs> Pretty much. Like you think Gen's a badass? No, this dude is like Super Saiyan Gen. That little point he does before he does it. It's. It's, he has like, just like four little Homer Simpson hairs and he's otherwise completely <laughs> bald. That's pretty damn good. It's like, they, it's like they took the weirdest design choices from Dalsim and Ryu and just made it into one like turbo old ho like hobo character. Turbo old is a great adjective. Cause like, like put him in a sack and give him a rope belt and make him look creepy. 
and say he's the most powerful character in the Street Fighter universe? <laughs> well, not sure if we want to wrap up or look at any other stuff, but I kind of want to play one more match. One more yeah. match? Yeah. You want to play it? Nah, you can. Oh, okay. Which, uh, um, what, should we, what should we end on? Wait, let's go to Oops. Cody first. I want to know oh, what he was yes. sent to prison for. Yes. Um, he was framed by Mad Gear. Of course he was, but for what? But he kept getting in trouble, He likes trouble, spinach though. and milk. He bored his peaceful life. He started getting into random fights. Oh, okay. He, he, he wasn't framed. He was just arrested for assault because he just started fighting people for no reason. That's right. Prison has aged him. He's more of a foil for Ryu than Ken is. <laughs> yeah. Of just weirdo walking around hitting people. I like the fact that even as a mayor, he's still packing his blade in his back pocket. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, yeah you have to on these streets. They're coming for you. He still packs it as a prisoner wearing that. <laughs> they should just put him in Punch Club. I'm playing a lot of that. Recently. He really is rocking the shell to Adidas. Mm -hmm. Look at that. He's still styling in a, in a big house. Oh, go back. There's one line I want to just call out there because it's okay. fantastic. His time behind bars is not so bad, but he'll often bust out through his 50 centimeter thick concrete wall if he feels like it, <laughs> only to return later. I mean, he's got this form fitting <laughs> prisoner's outfit on, so yeah. I mean, he's, he's in jail, but he's a good guy at heart. It, you know, big mood. Sure. <laughs> he's going um, to serve his time. Yeah, let's, let's do uh, uh, the uh, offline. Yeah. Or maybe Oops. let's share an online match with somebody. Yeah, see if someone's online. We were talking, we were thinking about it. Uh, do you want to get bodied on uh, camera? You're playing as player one. Oh, so okay. So I'll get bodied body on camera. camera. Yeah. Or cool. I lost to you a bunch, so it's already happened. Uh, it's, it's, uh, this is a different level. Yeah. Uh, should we go to, uh, let's go to ranked. Let's just go all in. Oh, sure. Fuck up his ranking. Whatever. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I didn't know there were did you know messages on the wait screen. <clears throat> that's kind of great. Yeah. I think it's a really good package. It's a super strong package. Yeah. Here we go. Definitely stronger than the, uh, than the high def Street Fighter 2 release. Yeah. That would have been a fine for like $15. Yeah. <laughs> Not for the same 40 as this. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bit of a robbery right there. A little bit. Remember when Street Fighter 4 was a launch game for the 3DS? Yeah, and still not on Switch in any form yet. That yeah. kind of bugs me, because people who bought this on other consoles get that for free yeah. also. Yeah, it's annoying. That's lame, but... Only if you pre-ordered. Right, but still... It's still. But also, yeah. 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 I get you. Really? There should be a version of Street Fighter 4 on here. Why don't you just paste a flowchart on the TV and end the stream? I feel like they're not... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they're not... Um, they're trying to dis not distract... Whoa, it's a little laggy here. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. To be I've, fair, there might be glitches in our Wi-Fi, but... I've, uh, I've, I've been reading online that the Switch version doesn't have the best uh, connection. Mm -hmm. We probably would if we ins like used the Ethernet adapter. Yeah. But right, we are wireless right now. Yeah. So. We're wireless and also streaming like directly from our whole... We have a whole setup, which means that actually doing stuff that isn't streaming on video can glitch a bit. Because there's like two from the capture card itself. Yep. And they still... Uh, like, they didn't like use... Does Capcom still do their own thing, or, or do they have it's like their, some net? Code? It's uh, GGPO, I believe. So they switched to GPO. They, they use it. They were using GGPO for all these like re-releases, I think. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not. I think so. Because it seems like it's Ooh, still a bit some heavy lag, even on my yeah. short kicks. I love New York. I was always fascinated by um, uh, Japanese brawlers and uh, fighters take on uh, like U.S. and a New York culture yeah. in those mm -hmm. games. Yeah, it's great. Especially the ones that come from like the, the skeevy 80s New York. This like, yeah, this like 80s urban vigilantism yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like the Ninja Turtles movie New yep. York is this. Yeah, that's a great aesthetic. But I also want to know like, but what is the thought of you are disgruntled, there's economic and crime problem <laughs> stuff everywhere in the city. Why would you spray paint "I love New York" over things? <laughs> well, it's even funnier too because when you realize that a lot of them felt, a lot of the economic stuff, a lot of them were blaming it on Japan. Yeah. Um, so that's there's a juxtaposition funnier. there. Yeah, what was that movie of Michael Keaton? Uh, uh, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Multiplicity. <laughs> the one with the, with the car, but a car manufacturer. Spider-Man: Homecoming. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> yes, yes, the other guy. Yes. Yes. Three men and a baby. A lot of economic anxiety in Spider-Man: Homecoming. Hmm? <laughs> 
I mean, there's a lot of economic anxiety coming from a Japanese company. <laughs> you can go places. Do we want to? Sony. <laughs> oh, he's, he's Sony is, now. Sony's in a bad way. Hmm? Which is weird because you think Microsoft would be just because the PlayStation has more good games, but Sony also has a lot of other stuff. That the just isn't Microsoft has this whole rest of a business they run. Yeah. <laughs> that is doing well, for well. Sony, it's the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a shame because, like, their TVs and phones and stuff, it's good hardware. It's just mm -hmm. they doesn't have oh. the, it doesn't have the market share of, like, Samsung. Look at this. I don't know how he hasn't beaten me yet. Well, maybe it's worse for him. It's probably the lag, too. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, it's, the lag's so bad, I can count the frames. Hey, maybe that's how I need to get good at fighting games. I just need a lot of lag to watch it. Oh, he got it. Oh, lag saved me. <laughs> get him. Yeah. Jeffrey. Oh, chipped out. <laughs> Scrub Lord basement moment number 38. <laughs> it's going to go to the final round. <sighs> sure. This last round will take two hours. Wow, we're still in the gallery mode. So huh? who wears a lime green gi? Americans. Do they? Ken Masters. Well, I can't even... Like, you'd think it would all be like go. Cobra Kai Black or something, but he looks like a karate leprechaun. Speaking of which, has anyone seen Cobra Kai? Uh, apparently a lot of people. It's done really well for them. I don't know why, but it it's did. It's a quality show. I never and liked a lot of, Karate it's, Kid. It's, it's not a good movie. Um, Thank you. But I do, I do like this because it's a lot of um, uh, 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 big boss... Uh, solid Snake moments. Go in, on. In this yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I'm, I'm serious. It's a man without a dojo, and he creates a child army, and it's, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> okay. I can't tell if you're kidding. No, I mean, yeah. I think from what little I know, I think that does track. Wow. That sounds so much like Netflix Marvel show. I mean, Cobra Snake. Mmm. Yeah. There's a couple of really good heel turns too that uh, Question. I didn't expect. How do you watch Cobra Kai? It's on YouTube Red. Mm -hmm. oh. It's a YouTube <laughs> Red original. But the first two eps are free to get you uh, that yeah. taste. We have a post on YouTube Red. You know, I gotta say, I enjoy YouTube Red because it's not bad. I watch like I it's watch a lot kids. of LPRs and like different like review shows and stuff on YouTube and like kind of yeah. supporting it without watching the ads, which suck. I like that. It makes sense once you realize that the, the audience is all the kids that all the kids who watch YouTube and say fuck a lot. Like, yeah, but like, <laughs> yeah. Once you realize that, yo, what up? Once you realize I'm that's 34. the once you realize that's the audience, then it all makes sense. Yeah. Also, that that uh, college humor sort of Black Mirror parody is pretty yeah. funny. Mm. All right, but I think that's that's it for uh, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Uh, it's out now, forty dollars on Switch, PS4, Xbox One, Windows. Uh, we have a post on we have a review on Geek from Tony. Jeff, you're writing about it for PC Mag. Yes, review that, should be up uh, early to mid next week. Cool. Uh, we like it. Um, check it out. It's a good game. We'll be back next week with E3 predictions. Oh yeah. And uh, something else, uh, maybe Dark Souls or maybe something. I don't know. But maybe E3 predictions will be the big deal. So yep. it's good. I think it's good that we're doing it so late because we have to wait until see all the leaks are done. So be like, you yeah, know, you're right. Yeah. So. Like, like, oh, I predict Assassin's Creed in ancient Greece. Like, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I predict. So has that been officially confirmed or pseudo officially confirmed? No, they put out the a trailer. It, they no, I, I know, but it's they just, officially confirmed it. But it's the, <laughs> but it's the whole case of like, how leaked has this been? Like, uh, there are there, there games that have practically been launched and they still didn't announce them yet. Oh, like the PS4 Slim. Remember? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. People had that and they hadn't announced it yet. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's so we'll right. be back next Friday with that. Um, but yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Hadouken. Mm -hmm. Dragon! <laughs> <laughs>